Hello my crafty friends, welcome to new visitors to my channel and welcome back to those who have visited me before. It's Terry from Vegas Test Creates here with a project for iCrafter for you today. So today I'm going to show you how I have used the iCrafter apron box card die set to make a gift box which I've put some of my favourite little chocolates in there and how it's also, as well as a gift box, it's got a card built in. So what will follow is a tutorial of how to, um, how all the pieces work and how I have made this work. Um, and unfortunately, because I'm trying out a new camera system, my camera cut out at the point where I was reinforcing these and sticking them together. So um, it's not a complete tutorial. So the last bit is me explaining uh, the final steps that didn't actually record, but that doesn't detract from the tutorial in my opinion, otherwise I would have reshot it. So let's dive in and see how I've made this little beauty. So unfortunately my camera cut out um, just at the point where I was um, gluing this spatula together. So um, I'm getting used to a new camera system. Um, so apologies about that but um, I showed you all of the essential things anyway. So I think one of the main cool things about this um, card uh, and gift box is that I've created this extra bit so it's actually a gift box and a card so you've got space in here to write your personal message I've used a hook and eye velcro um, dot but you could equally use magnets there um, 
so essentially the point where we left off was I was gluing all of these together and then what I did was um, I assembled the box uh, which is really really easy because essentially you've got the two side tabs which I'll show you here so obviously we've cut this out twice so basically you just stick glue on that part and then stick it to that part of the other die and then because it's symmetrical you can then um, stick the just stick put glue on the other part and then fold it over and then it meets that and then this inner port this inner portion here this sort of long strip with the two fold lines it's really really quite handy so what I've done because I wanted this to be a gift box is I've actually stuck two of them at the bottom so uh, they don't exactly fit side by side there is a bit of crossover but that's fine um, but what you can also use it for because it's the perfect width is actually inside here if you sort of bent back the these pieces and put glue on them you could put one or two of these across the center so if you didn't want it to have a bottom you'd put one or two across the center and then you could have other things coming out of it so you could have more kitchen utensils you could have florals and if you didn't um so because i have put put a bottom on you can't fold it flat but if you just stuck those side pieces on it would still fold flat so that way it would be a stand-up card not a gift box so it's really really versatile obviously it's called an apron gift box card so it's an interactive card that then folds flat but as you can see i've turned it into a gift box um and I also didn't show you how I did this, which is basically really, really easy. So I just cut two lengths of some baker's twine um, to, the, to be the same length so that when you use the handles, uh, they're the same length. Uh, just poked one through, one end through, and then tied it in a in a knot like that and I did that twice and pulled it really tight so that the knot was of a bigger size than the hole so that it wouldn't pull through uh, you could make them shorter you could make them longer but obviously if you're taking from I think this would be perfect as a gift for someone who loves cooking um, to sort of put some chocolates or some socks or something like that in or maybe um, a few chocolates and a gift card or something like that and then obviously it's it's a card and a gift box in one so very very versatile product so I really really enjoyed playing with this actually um, and it's a decent size as a gift box and uh, as I say without turning it into a gift box it just folds flat and will fit in an envelope so um, I really hope that you've enjoyed that I'm sorry that um, the, I had some slight camera issues but um, you got to see all of the important parts anyway which was really sort of explaining how I did that bit the rest of it is just choosing your colour scheme and uh, decorating to your heart's content I mean you could stamp something on there or you know you could put a happy birthday stamp or sentiment uh, die cut sentiment on the front there uh, or it could be for mother's day um, anything you want really and it doesn't have to be you know it could be masculine colors my husband's a fantastic cook um, so you know and you could also use it with if you've got like tool dies this could be like a tool belt so you could put like you know spanners and wrenches and whatnot in there as well so yeah so i hope you've enjoyed this video um tutorial and um that's it from me today and i will see and speak to you soon with some more crafty goodness bye for now